pressure there. All right, unfortunately, we missed the shot. Great pass. Let's continue. All right, UB, what's the strategy right now for the Lakers? Do they go for the three or try a quick two? Always comes back to the strategy of the head coach. Do you go for the quick score and then put the pressure on, go for the steal and foul? Or do you now say, I'm going to take a three? If we miss it, remember a long rebound, kick it right back out again. Lakers are out of timeouts. Oh, he's going, going, he's going, going for the, the two. Inside, quick That's score. Right. So still plenty of time, a one-point game. Nash coming up. They have to foul. Nash looking. Tied up. Reach in. Whoa, the jump ball. Oh, the jump ball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nash he, is he furious. Called, well, he called. See, Nash said he would call in timeout. He thought that. But because of the trap, because of the trap, depending upon where the referee is stationed, could he hear Nash calling for the timeout? And you can see Nash was really upset. There was also plenty of contact as they double team Nash. I think he thought he was hit as well. Walton certainly with the height advantage here on this tip. Now with remember, six point one remaining. The Lakers, no timeouts here now. A one point game. Walton can tip it. Bryant with the save. Oh, you're gonna get a shot here. Final seconds. Bryant for the win. Bang! shot off in time and the chance of MVP the officials you'll be still looking at it they haven't made the official announcement yet oh no question oh, I don't know what close. the delay is yeah not even close and now it's official the Lakers take a three to one lead in this best of seven series as Kobe Bryant at the buzzer in overtime gets the win for Los Angeles. The pressure of the inbound on the play before of Kobe going strong to the basket, getting it down to one point, and then with the forced jump ball and the question whether or not they call a timeout, whether or not the official had an angle of whether he could give them the timeout. But then you got to give the Lakers a lot of credit. They went right in there and tied Nash up, tied him up, and then forced the jump ball. What a heartbreaking loss for the Phoenix Suns. Here's the play on the trap. Now you see, he's calling right here. He, Boy, that he, looks like a foul. Yeah, well, first of all, he thought he was fouled, but more important, he thought that he called the timeout, okay? All right, and then he's like pushing. I, I don't know whether he thought Dial also. Dial was behind him to the upper part of your screen, whether he was calling timeout. Now, he should have helped Nash out in that situation. All right, both guys should have been yelling timeout. And there on the jump ball, Luke Walton wins the all-important jump ball. He had the height advantage. No question about who was shooting at this time. They had two guys right up on top challenging the shot. But once he gets up in the air, because of his lift and also his angle, he can always get it up over the top of the defense. A devastating loss for the Suns, an exhilaration for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now one win away from advancing to the second round. A thriller here at the Staples Center. The final score, the Lakers 99. And the Suns 98 in overtime. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Search ABC Sports. Coming up next, except on the West Coast, you'll see World News Tonight or your local news.
So for producer Eddie Fibershoff, director Drew Esikoff, Yubi Brown, and Lisa Salters, and our entire crew, this is Mike Green saying so long from Los Angeles. And it's only the first round. You're watching ABC Sports, home of the NBA Finals.